Russian army claims it killed 50 Western instructors in missile attack. The Russian ballistic missile attack on northeastern Ukraine's Kharkiv region killed dozens of Western military instructors, state media reported, citing Russia's defense ministry. An Iskander M missile defense system launched an attack on the temporary deployment point of instructors and mercenaries from Western countries in the locality of Dahachi. Kharkiv region, the state-run TASS news agency quoted an unnamed defense ministry source as saying, The city of Dahachi is located around 12 kilometers northwest of the Kharkiv region's capital city. As a result of the strike, about 50 foreign instructors were killed, the source added, without specifying when the attack took place. No other details were provided. In March, Moscow claimed its forces had killed nearly 6,000 foreign volunteers fighting on the side of Ukraine since the start of the full-scale invasion in February 2022. Shortly after Russia launched the invasion, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced the creation of an international territorial defense legion consisting of foreigners fighting on behalf of Kyiv. In May, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Western instructors are sustaining losses in Ukraine. Specialists are staying there under the guise of mercenaries, he said, commenting on documents legalizing the presence of French instructors at Ukrainian army training centers that were signed by Ukraine's commander-in-chief Alexander Syrsky. There was a question about long-range precision weapons, Putin went on to say. Who runs these weapons? Who services them? Of course, it is these instructors that are disguised as mercenaries. They are there and are sustaining losses, Putin said, and it is becoming more and more difficult for them to conceal these losses. Maybe it's time to say that they are officially present there to show actual losses officially, he added. Western parliamentarians and journalists are discussing the options for sending in troops, while the mood in Russian pro-war media ranges from dismissive to alarmed. However, most experts believe that boots on the ground fighting alongside the Ukrainian army are most likely out of the question. But deploying troops to the European border with Belarus, training the Ukrainian military in-country and offering assistance with demining defensive fortifications and cyber defense would be a great help and would not threaten direct escalation, especially since the Kremlin does not have the resources for bringing the war directly to NATO. Many parts of South China witnessed rainstorms and gusty winds from due to Typhoon Praparun, the fourth typhoon of the year, according to local meteorological authorities. Torrential rains hit eastern, central and western Hainan. A total of 12 cities and counties in the island province of Hainan, including the provincial capital Haikou, saw rainfall exceeding 100 mm, according to Xinhua. The coastal areas and waters off Hainan experienced widespread gusts, with the strongest recorded in Wanching Town in Wanning City, reaching 38.2 meters per second. Praparun, named after a Thai rain god, made landfall in China's southernmost island province of Hainan as a strong tropical storm, the first tropical cyclone to hit China this year, national forecasters said. Formed in the South China Sea, Praparun Center was about 275 kilometers southeast of the Hainan city of Wanning. Praparun was estimated to be 610 kilometers west-southwest of Hong Kong. Hong Kong will be affected by rain and thunderstorms today despite the approach of tropical storm Praparun, which was forecast to make landfall over Hainan Island. The observatory issued the typhoon standby signal number 1, indicating that a tropical cyclone was within about 800 kilometers of Hong Kong and might affect the region. This signal remained in force yesterday as Praparun, named after a Thai rain god, took a more northerly track. The observatory will assess the need to issue a higher tropical cyclone warning signal, depending on changes in Praparun's intensity and local wind conditions. Yeah.